As Kenya welcomed Air France back into the country, the role around the airspace where Kenya is set to offer direct flights from Paris to Nairobi, we assess the impact this will have between the two countries from trade to boosting regional connectivity. The touchdown of the inaugural flight at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport from Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris marked a new chapter in the aviation industry. Observers have described the resumption of direct flights as a game changer for travelers from East Africa. Our Nairobi is a very important capital in Eastern Africa. I think it's also the hub of Eastern Africa. So we look forward to developing the traffic between Eastern Africa, Nairobi and Paris. At the same time, Nairobi is the hub of our partner Kenya Airways. And we are really joining forces with Kenya Airways by reinforcing the link between Paris and Nairobi. And today I'm very proud to be on the first flight to Nairobi. Uh, it is a proof of uh, uh, the upmarket of Air France because uh, it will be in uh, one of our new aircraft. The airline is banking on the pre-existing code share agreements it has with Kenya Airways and KLM to grow numbers. We are uh, starting with uh, three weekly frequencies uh, to Nairobi with a 276-seater. Uh, we're expecting uh, high load factors uh, because we are really betting on a very good uh, cooperation and connectivity between Air France and Kenya Airways. Air France is bullish over the new route, noting that prospects in the aviation sector are promising. So why now? Because first, uh, the business is thriving between Kenya and France. If we look at figures, uh, a few years ago there were only 35 French firms present in, in Kenya. Now there are almost 80 to 90 present. So I understand also that France is a fourth investor of, a federal, uh, of a foreign investment in, in Kenya. Yeah. So there are strong economic ties. In the next five years, with the infrastructure improvement that we're going to do on those new terminals and the possibility of that second runway will entirely transform this region and the way, the way it is. We therefore expect traffic uh, globally, we're looking at a, an increase of 4% uh, increase in traffic until 2030. But I believe that we can increase that uh, growth rate with all new facilities in this airport, making it a, a hub. The route will be serviced by a new Dreamliner, Boeing 787-9, which will be flying three times a week, with plans to increase the frequency based on demand projections Air France is further expectant that the new aircraft, combined with the French high service proposition, will be a good sell for the high-end travelers who fly on business class. All our Eastern African customers uh, will benefit from the best-in-class product. It's the newest airplane we've got in our fleet. We have redesigned the cabin and the seat for more legroom, more, uh, uh, more width on the seat pad, on the seat back, uh, so the comfort is very good. And you can expect Air France experience, so French food, uh, our best uh, chef, French chef, haute cuisine française in business class. The launch of direct flights will predominantly be targeting business and leisure travelers along the route. Air France has its sights also set on other countries that rely on JKIA for connection flights. So the price will be a bit depend on, about the days and the operations, uh, but it's going to be very competitive. From a trade perspective, French interests in Kenya have solidified, especially in the manufacturing and automotive business. Well, I think uh, our strategy is going to be uh, an upward positioning of our brand. We have an excellent product on board. We want to differentiate from the other brands by our French touch, by the comfort of our flights, by the smooth connectivity in Charles de Gaulle. So yes, indeed, we are playing the card of quality to differentiate from competition. The resumption of the direct flights after 18 years will offer exporters an opportunity to tap into the French market as well as other European countries. With a lot of optimism coming in the aviation sector, the direct flights from Paris to Nairobi heralds a new dawn for Air France as it looks to expand its footprint in Africa, targeting the business travelers as well as those coming for tourism and for holidays. Reporting from Charles de Gaulle Airport here in Paris, I'm Abi Agina for KTN News.